Hey there, my name is John Siskovich. I'm a farmer in Western Connecticut and I'm the founder, creative director here at Farm Marketing Solutions. We have a YouTube channel and we also have a podcast and it is one of those podcast clips that I wanted to share with you today. Now, uh, this earlier this week, I've been sharing clips from the episodes themselves. What today's episode is, is actually before we kind of officially hit record and started the episode, uh, Troy and I got in a little bit of a discussion and it was kind of some behind the scenes. It was a good candid moment uh, between the two of us as we were getting set up and it was just like part of our warm up. So I want to share that with you today as kind of, kind of some bonus material in addition to the podcast. If you want to listen to the whole show, I will share that at the end of this clip. But without further ado, here we go. <laughs> Farm Marketing <laughs> Solutions exist to inspire and educate the next generation of farmers, not be a reality TV show. Right. I could put on the John Show. I've done it. I have 520 videos up on YouTube, and some of them are, hey, the John Show. This is about getting information to the people who are trying to make it work so that they can do a better job of making it work and so that they don't leave because I need to eat, which means more people need to grow stuff because I can't do it all myself. People who think... They're self-sufficient. I'm gonna be a self-sufficient homesteader. I'm gonna make this all work. I don't know if this GoPro camera has a proper two shot. It does, yes. Uh, <coughs> you need a community. I raise chickens and pigs and hops and we make beer. And my buddy does beef. My other friends do flowers. I have vegetable farmer friends. I have honey friends. I have yeah. goat milk friends, a raw, raw milk dairy. I don't, I'm not self-sufficient. My community is self-sufficient yeah. and therein lies the value of this lifestyle to me. Beautiful. Isn't that good? That's it like is. A little like, yeah, it's a total plug. I need a flag waving behind me. I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, yeah. or you do need a song. Believe. Like, yeah. The, Cause I'm proud to be a farmer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, my food is really good. <laughs> see? You, yeah, you could do that. No problem. So we just had that discussion about community-supported agriculture, and that is three words. Those are three words that I have shaped my entire life around. Community, support, and agriculture. All of those things go hand in hand. If you want to listen to this full episode, you can go to farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash GFP. That's for Growing Farms Podcast. Or you can search us on iTunes at Growing Farms Podcast and you'll see a line drawing, a, a black and white drawing of me and Troy with a bunch of grass in our mouth because I did the drawing and it was a lot of fun and it was just one of the, my favorite pictures of me and Troy. Um, tomorrow we are going to talk about why farmers should be asking why more often, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whatever you're doing, if you're an apprentice or if you're a seasoned vet that is teaching somebody younger than you, always be asking why, always question everything is something, a valuable lesson that Troy has taught me and we're going to discuss it in a little bit further detail as part of the podcast in a clip that I share tomorrow on Friday's episode. That's it. That's uh that's it. I'm I'm all done. I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. And uh yeah, until next time, get some rest, go to sleep, enjoy your family and your friends, say hello and I love you to somebody tomorrow or today, whenever you're watching this. Give them a big hug and until next time, I will see you out in the field. <laughs>